Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Stark, one for you, one for me. Makes it nice and even. Spicer, Spicer, listen to me. I didn't mean it, you know that. I was only kidding. Yeah, yeah, it was a joke, that's all. Sure, sure it was. You say a lot of funny things. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Only saying you was better than me, saying you could take me, that wasn't very funny. The boys here didn't think it was so funny either. You ready? Oh, Spicer, please. Spicer, let me see. That bird come any closer, you wouldn't have had a mouth. He done this to me. He marked me. Spicer! Spicer! Come on, cut it out! Cut it out! He's dead, can't you see he's dead? He can't do nothing. North Fork's up ahead. You need a drink, come on. He left me to look after things. Who's that? I don't know. We picked him up from the range about sundown. You better help me get him over to the dock, huh? Well, doc ain't here neither. Him and Michael went together. Practically the whole town's out there. Now where? In Jonah's place. They're having a barn raisin and box supper. Ben, go after him, will you? Tell him it's an emergency. All right. Well, Lucas, it's better than an hour's ride out there. Just do the best you can. Buster just hauled Stark's body up to the marshal's office. Somebody would have found him sooner or later. Yeah, but that deputy across the street rode out burning leather. Could be he's going for the marshal after that barn raising they had him. So? He might want to ask some questions. Let him. You know anything? Good. I ain't through drinking yet. Bartender, give me another bottle. Be done. Well, what's the doctor say? He's not here. Daddy? Mm hmm. Put the paper down. What is it, Vicki? There's a man who's been hurt pretty bad. They just took him into the doctor's office. Oh. That's so. Daddy, you don't understand. The doctor's not there. Well, in that case, maybe we better have a look. Let's hurry. Bullets in there pretty deep. Best thing we can do is make them comfortable till Doc Burge gets here. 
Laura? Uh, yeah? What are you looking at? Nothing. My daughter tells me somebody's been hurt. I'm a doctor. Oh, come on in. He's a doctor, Paul. I understand your doctor is. Simon Battle. Vicky, my bag's in the hotel room. Go get it, will you please? Yes, Debbie. Mark, you better go help her. Yes, Paul. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same thing. I live here. I didn't know. We were just stopping for the night. I thought you were dead. A lot of people have thought that. You in particular. What do you think you're doing? Get out of here, battle. McCain, this man is bleeding to death. Be careful, McCain. Though it'll be just like it was ten years ago. A fast gun against the fast rifle. Only I guarantee the outcome will be different this time. I well, haven't changed. Have your battle. Only I'm a doctor now. And since you're in no position to argue about it, I suggest you take me at my word. And do what you can to help. Talents, Laura. You want this man to die? Or don't you care? McCain, and I've had ten years to think about it. Ten years when you thought I was dead. I could have come after you, but I didn't. I was too busy to waste my time. But I'll tell you this. I wasn't afraid of you then, and I'm not afraid of you now. I heard that you settled down. I didn't believe it. Still don't. There should be some bandages and alcohol in those cabinets. Thank you, Vicky. You can go back to the hotel now. But can't I help? Not this time. Mark, take the young lady to supper. They've got real good apple pie. All right. The alcohol, please. Here it is. This ought to be enough to ride on. What's the matter? It's the one that Sodbuster Hall Stark's buddy in. Well, so what? What's he doing in front of the doc's office? A town like this? The doc's most likely the undertaker, too. Maybe they're fixing him up real pretty to bury him. I'm gonna take a look. So they're trying to patch him up right now. Ah, you're drunk. I'm telling you, he ain't. I saw him myself. Well, he better be dead. He ain't. I'll fix him good and proper this time. Him and anybody that tries to save him.
It's always surprised me that something so small could do so much. I've seen men trampled by cattle, thrown, every bone in their body broken, yet live. While well, one lead slug, barely an ounce. You put enough slugs into people not to be surprised. You're still harping back to the past, McCain. You're kidding no one but yourself if you think it's been forgotten. Another compress. Has your past been forgotten? I've lived it down. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Only it's not easy. You expect it to be, a reputation you had. I see you're still wearing that gun. And you still carry that rifle. I use that rifle only when I have to. So when you're finished here, battle, you get on your horse and ride, and don't ever come back. This man's life is still in danger, McCain. I've got an obligation. When I'm through, you say that again. Are you alive? Yeah, he is alive. What do you want? I'm not talking to you, sodbuster. Doc, you're making a mistake. That man don't want to live. You didn't hear me, Doc. I said you let him die. Ain't no man got a right to live after doing this to me. You shoot him? Maybe, maybe not. What's the answer, Doc? If I can possibly save this man's life, I'm gonna do it. Then if you'd like, I'll look at your face. You save him, you won't be looking at nothing. I should be dead. Uh, you said all you're gonna say, mister. I'll back on out that door. Both of you. I'm going, but I ain't going far. I'll be right out in the street waiting for you. Leave it. Remember what I said. You save him, I'll kill you, Doc. Him, and you, and you. Who are they? They're riding a Lobo van. Still killing their own? Why not? If you take half the two bit gunmen in the territory, drunks, outlaws, throw them together on one ranch. What do you expect? Did you ever work for Lobo? I thought about it once. So did I. <sighs> We're wasting time in this man's life. How about it? Is he gonna live? I don't know yet. I think there's four of them out there. So he's any cat gut. So anyhow, after Mom died, we moved to Chicago. That's where Daddy studied medicine. You ever been to Chicago? Mark? Huh? Oh, no. no I don't guess we've been much of any place. Uh, we used to live in a little town in Oklahoma, though. Till my mother died. Then Paul came out here. Oh. You know, there are half a million people in Chicago. Half a million? Well, what do they all do? Same as here. Bookkeepers, doctors, bankers. Well, I I'd think that your pa would want to stay back there with all those people. I mean, being a doctor and all. Well, no, I, I think they made him uncomfortable. Well, Daddy says a man has to have room to stretch. Well, I sure hated to leave, but, well, Daddy was right. He said that he felt his services were needed more out here. And you know, we went through some towns that didn't even have a doctor, like Lone Pine. Lone Pine? That's where we're going. It's over in the Arizona Territory, in the Gila Mountains. Gila. Huh? It's Spanish. You say Gila, not Gila. Oh, well, that's where we're going anyhow. You know, Daddy's going to be the only doctor in 200 miles around. You think you'll like it? I hope so. I don't remember much about any of this country. We left 10 years ago when I was only six. Only six? Then, then that means that you're at least 16 now. Well, next birthday. How old are you, Mark? How old did you say? Um, you want some pie? I'll order it. Mmm, yes. Are you sure you have enough money, though? Oh, well, sure. Sure, I'm sure. You have any 
your trouble raising your boy in this kind of country? I found him unusual. Boys are boys, you know. Are they? What about his friends? He's got enough. No, uh, I mean, what are they like? Well, some are a little rougher than others, I guess. You worried about the girl? Hand me those scissors. The scissors. If Stark dies, are we gonna leave? Not till I settle things with that sod buster. Yeah, but you said... I know what I said. That's it. That holster, did you see it? What are you talking about? That big silver B on that holster that Doc was wearing. I've seen it before, a long time ago, and there's a... Battle. Simon Battle. Who's this Battle? Gunfight in Oklahoma Territory disappeared about ten years ago. Simon Battle? Yeah. I heard he was more than good. Yeah? Maybe that'll make up for this. I'd like to give me a gunfighter like that. Sort of give me something to go on. Spicer, listen to me. Battle was good. Ten years, you say, huh? No man puts his gun down for ten years and comes back good. I'm getting tired of waiting. Hey, Doc! How you coming? Keeping him alive, Doc? You know something? I changed my mind. You hear me? You too, Sodbuster. I changed my mind. I want you to keep him alive. The boys here say the doc's named Simon Battle. He's a real good boy with a gun. Well, you keep old Stark alive so as I can find out. Yeah, I'm gonna stay here till you come out. And then I'm gonna kill you, Simon Battle. Come on. Well, what's it look like? Bleeding stopped. His pulse is good. Oh, we heard him. He didn't mean what he said. I'm afraid he did, Vicky. No. Can't you do something? Vicky, listen to me. Do you remember when your mother passed away? Do you remember? Yes, I remember very well what you said, that you were going to change. I have, Vicky. But for this, I'm not going to let you. You've got to stop them. Vicky, listen. No, you listen. My father was in a gunfight once. He was shot and he almost died. A lot of people thought he had. But my mother nursed him day and night for weeks. She wore herself out trying to keep him alive because there was no doctor anywhere. He lived. But she was so tired and so weak that she got the fever. We did what we could, but there was nothing we could do because there was no doctor. So he promised her then. He promised her the very last thing she ever heard was... I promised her I'd become a doctor. Start helping people. Instead of being what I was. But you are a doctor now and you're gonna stay one. Don't go out there. Come on, Doc, what are you waiting for? Old Stark still alive? You afraid to come out? I'm talking to you too, Sodbuster. Well, I should, should be back soon. We're still waiting. Make us come in after you. You've got a patient to take care of. Wait. Mickey, those men want to kill me because I saved this man's life. If I don't stand up and defend what I am, then it's all been in vain. and respiration. Try and keep him quiet. Huh? 
Can I buy you a steak later on? I think I'd like that. He's alive. Satisfied? Yeah. Well, I'm not. He's getting stronger. His breathing's good. He's asleep now, I think. Oh, Daddy! Right, Vicky. I'd like to know how you and your father are getting along over there in Lone Pine. I will, Mr. McCain. And I'll write to you too, Mark. Battle? I was wrong. That makes two of us. Good luck, Doc. Thank you, Lucas. Sure does, son. What's the matter? That Vicky. Why does she have to be almost 16? Well, son, now, look. Oh, don't say it, Paul. I know. Mm -hmm. 